What is up internet? In the last video we did some more aesthetic modifications to the Busa, side fairings, installed some more moto composite carbon bits, vinyl wrapped the chrome swishy things on the side and we vinyl wrapped the gold accent on the rear hump. So we're gonna just uh, pull over and take a look see in actual daylight. So this, this is literally the first time I've uh, ridden the bike since I filmed and edited the previous video so let's go let's go take a look it's an absolute gorgeous day and that's a phenomenal house and a spot to have a house now it's like 60 degrees I think today which is phenomenal for middle of February I guess we're kind of technically past middle of February it's 20th something like that anyway I think Friday is the 20 third mm, what a what a melting ice i hate looking at the the forecast for the week and like you have some nice days during the week and this time of year it's just so hard to take advantage of it because the sun sets so early and it gets so cold so quickly once the sun goes down it's just it's just hard to take advantage of it so you hope those nice days fall on weekends or any day you have off from the grind so this is one of those days woohoo yeah, this is not the road to like get sporty with it. There's sand and gravel and melting snow and people in big forerunners that like to drive in the middle of the road. So yeah, we're just gonna chill through here, pull over to the side, hopefully it won't be muddy. So if you're wondering what is next for the boost, I still got to finish the gold piece on the front near the uh, ram air intake. And then I still want to do a continuation of the stripe behind me onto the top of the tank here. That'll complete that. I'll be done with like aesthetic related stuff. And then I'm going to move on to um, trying to lighten the bike up even further. I mean, you gain like 50, 60 pounds not gain, I'm sorry, you you remove 50 to 60 pounds off the bike with a full exhaust system, um, depending on, you know, whether you go with stainless steel or um, titanium, titanium obviously being more expensive, so um, that's why I say 50 to 60, because I mean, just the two mufflers are like 20 a piece. I weighed them in a video where I changed my exhaust system, like 40 pounds just between the two mufflers and I replaced that with a single M4 and I'll link that video in the top right hand corner if I remember to do that while I'm editing setting up the video in YouTube but the point is um, I want to say the carbon fiber muffler is like five pounds so you know your net loss of weight on the bike is uh, what 35 pounds just with the muffler and, and so anyway I want to continue that Ooh. Nice little slippery section there with all that gravel on the road. Like, what is that even doing there? I want to, um, I want to continue trying to lighten the bike, but I want to do it like on a budget, dude. I'm not getting like carbon fiber wheels and spending like, you know, another five thousand dollars just to lighten the bike. But I do want to see how light I can get it on a budget, like real world, like for people actually Glenner, like ride their bike like I do. So that's that's next. And I'll probably start off with some simple obvious things like chaining sprockets. We'll do the, the whole 520 conversion, which is I've been running on my Ninja for years. So I'm not really worried about dropping from a 530 to 520 and um, you know reliability with the horse ride of the boost. So I've been again I've been running a, a 520 conversion on a 1,000 liter bike for. And I, I realize that 1,000 is the same as liter, and I just set them both together, but yeah, I'm not worried about the 520 chain conversion being reliable on the boost. I realize the boost is a bit heavier than my ZX-10R, but power-wise, not much of a difference. So I'm 
very, very confident the 520 will be fine. I have no idea like how much how much weight that'll lose. Probably less than a pound. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Plenty of people have done it. I'm sure somebody out there has measured it and they know exactly how much it is. But I'm going to do it anyway. Probably won't change the gearing. I like the stock gearing for for like touring when I need to get on the highway and like just crunch some miles and lock her in at 80 or whatever. The gearing is pretty much perfect for that. So like if I lower the gearing, then I'm going to be hating life in those situations. So I'm not, I'm not going to change it. Oh, what else? Man, I would love to put a cable clutch on it. I mean, for street bikes, like hydraulic clutches is fine. I think my preference for cable comes from motocross, especially if I'm riding like a YZ250 two-stroke because I have to use the clutch so much more on that bike. I need to feel the engagement point. It's not It's not a would like to, it's a requirement. Now, when I rode 450s, I didn't use the clutch near as much because the bike's such a wide, big old torquey power band. You don't need the clutch as much, but um, I just love cable clutches. I love to feel it. and. Uh, that would drop some weight, right? You've got the reservoir, you got all the hydraulic fluid, you got the slave cylinder as well. So it's like all that's gotta gotta be weighing something. Replace that with just a cable? Heck yeah, why not? Unless you're just like, you know, hating on cable clutches and you like your hydraulic clutch, then keep your hydraulic clutch. But I don't know what anybody makes. I know there's a kit for the Gen 2 and I don't know if that will work on the Gen 3. I don't think it will. I did look at it some time ago, but I don't really remember all the details. So, cannon sprockets, cable clutch would be sweet. Um, maybe like a bolt kit. I don't know. Anything that's like reasonably affordable. And I know that that means different things to different people, but whatever is reasonably affordable for me. Anyway, that that brings us to the end of this video. Short one. Hope you guys like the vinyl wrap and the carbon bits. Definitely, I highly recommend Moto Composite. Um, really nice quality products. Expensive, but it's a good example if you get what you pay for. So, if you're looking for some carbon bits, that's the way to go, if you ask me. See you guys later. Keep your upper side down, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you when we see you. Bye.